Brano Tieno and welcome to the second tutorial in the CA series and today I just want you guys to get to know how things work around in your setup um, and the first thing that I want you guys to uh, learn about is the base URL the base URL is the consistent part of your web application the URL bar. okay if you take a look at this you have local slash benotino ci template which acts as my uh, base url that means that if I, I click on login page it will still maintain it will still maintain the, uh, the base url but at least it has added something because the content the contents of the url has changed but um we we have it has added index.php slash main slash validate login which here is um the index.php file which uh, re redirects everything okay but i'll later on show you guys how to remove this by uh by writing re uh, writing rules in our htaccess file to eliminate uh, the index.php section and then next we have main which is our controller and then our uh, and then a function within the, uh, within the controller so um if you come to to the main to the main controller here uh we have the function validate login which just load the dashboard and then the home page but i will uh, later on use this uh this function to validate our login page so that we have a valid working login page so i'll go ahead and do another extra function here called home to specifically for loading our home page and what i'm going to do is just to copy um copy whatever is here and then paste it and then i'll uh i'll do away with everything here and then just call 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 the function now okay so, so let me just so I'll have this, uh, this home, okay? I've called the home function that I, I just did here. I hope you guys already understand how that that's working. Just calling a function, uh huh, and I already did the function here. So I just call it. So it's like I I wrote all all this code in here. Okay, good to go. So um, I'll later on use this function in here i'll expand it so that we can do our we can validate our login but we'll have to wait a bit for the next tutorial okay so um so to configure your base url you have to come to come under the config folder and then um config.php is where you place your base url you know for some reasons you, uh, your Apache could not be configured to access port 80 because of some services like the Microsoft IS which by default will run on your port 80 unless you deactivate it so um to uh, configure your Apache to use another port you could just come here to the Apache folder and then use port port other than 80 and then you fix the uh, the value of the code or you, you could just come to the apache configuration file that that is httpd dot configuration file and then you can uh, you can listen you can you can check the port that Ap apache listens to and then you modify it oh no okay so here we can listening to port 80 port 80 resolves back to local host or one 27.0.0.1 for those people who know something about IP addresses. So um, you could change this to 8080 or 8081, and then and then you restart your you, re, you restart your all, all your services, or just in other words, you restart your Apache to take the effect of whatever you change in there, and then um, and then if you do that, you'll have to come here and change this port to uh the the base url to 8080 8081 or any other port that you have configured your apache to li to listen to because uh the import importance of doing this is 
this because you just need your uh, LinkedIn files like the images, the CSRs, the JS, uh, the high chat, the font or some, and everything to link back to your application. So you must properly configure your this URL. Okay. So um, if you included port port eighty eighty or eighty eighty one as as the port that your Apache or or your, or your web server listens to, then you have to configure it within your this URL and then. The next thing that you can do is just to come here and then you load it here as well so that you access it access it from port 8080 if you just leave it at local host it means that it's listening to port 80 but sometimes port 80 is actually used by other services so um you don't want to, to mess up your apache and you have to understand how things run around and then the, the next thing that you have to know uh, is to understand what your what your base URL. I'm sorry, no. I mean to understand what a controller is. The controller is um. Let me say, a controller is the binding, the intermediary between the um models and the views. Okay, it's like uh the the core thing that binds the two together. You can work without the model, but uh, you're probably going to need your controller to work in here. Controller listens from the uh, for uh, listens the request from from your views and then work around things. It can pass data to your it can uh, pass data to the controller so that the controller uh, handles the specific things, uh, specific uh, function that will either insert or do something. So basically. Um, the controller is the core that handles that that binds uh, the models and the views, and then the views are just like the the views are just like the pages. They could be uh, RSS uh, RSS feeds. They could be just a fraction, a, a fragment of the page. Think of it like. Um, like here, I have called the, I have called the dashboard, okay, and then I've dynamically called another, dynamically called another view in here. I could as well separate this and then call it separately, okay. So um, that's all about the views. Uh, views are just uh, what you what you represent to your users, okay. What users interact with you need a user interface somewhere and that's all the all views is all about um the next thing is a model model a model is just a, a representation of data structure that is um if you look at if you take a look at for example this model here um i have a function it could be a function maybe a series of function just some uh, some class of that implement something okay so if I'm, uh we could have a data structure that uh, handle some data a database work okay for example this the function update account here that's what the function says it will update it will update your account it will update the bank account okay so um I want you guys to think of models as um, as a dedicated uh, tire that handles all your um, your database work and the important the importance of having an MVC is just to separate your separate your uh, application logic from your representation so you guys can see that um, uh, the models, uh, the models actually handle the database. This work, um, the controllers, the controllers uh, is like a binding between the, between the, between the model and the views. Okay, and then maybe the next thing that you guys need to learn is routing, and um, and 
routing you have to come to config and then route for example in this case um, by default we have we have to we have two routes which is the default controller and uh, and uh, for 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 override error okay um, to toward your routes you could just uh, give it a name here and then configure it a route can be can be in a form of an expression or um, or any other other thing that redirect redirects you to redirects your request dynamically to to a section to a section or the other um here i've set my default controller to login but i could as well uh set it to main the function that we just did so that um if you if you load the base url here if you load the base url here it just redirects you to the main uh, the main page but I just don't want to do that I just want to stick to this so that um, whenever you oh I don't want to mention something about destroying your session right now but we'll come to that but I just just know that guys that I just want to maintain this to login so that our base URL uh, redirects us back to back to the login page okay super sweet um I really think guys I should prepare to go to bed by now it's already 3 50 a.m or i could just go to bed think of something nice to um to teach you guys and then i'll come back record it before i go to the official uh bed time i don't know how many times i'll go to bed but um thank you for watching the video subscribe and um we'll meet next time to talk about Macon concrete things this is just the beginning of the tutorial so you guys just come back and watch all these videos but i promise you you'll get to learn a lot as time goes by thank you so much and subscribe